Hello guys. So this is actually my third Multiplus Victron uh, Energy Multiplus, and uh, I find out that all of these um, uh, inverters they have an issue. Okay, and I just want to bring it up uh, to the maybe to the Victron even. Maybe they can take care of the issue because uh, this puppy here, which is a simple go power inverter, doesn't have that issue. So let me show you what's going on here. Let me just turn this on first. It's kind of in a bad location, but anyway. And I'm going to have to hold the camera because I don't have a good setup. This is just, just kind of fast. Let me shut this light. Oops, that's not it. Okay. Uh, that's not going to work. Yeah. Alright. So... I just uh, find out that uh, this Victron get affected from the outside source and that goes for motors, okay, uh, refrigerators and uh, other motors. Uh, so this is what this is what's going on. I'm just going to turn on what I have here. It's a heat gun. 600 and 1200 watt. I'm just going to turn it on 600 watt. And look at the heat, uh, not heat wave, <laughs> look at the sine wave and the voltage. Okay. Actually, you see the voltage drops really badly. Sine wave is horrible. Now listen to the inverter. Okay, when I shut it off, it was shut off. That's one thing. Now, let's go to the frequency here. Well, actually, there's a frequency right here, but it's very small numbers. But I'm going to switch to the fre frequency here. And I'm going to turn it on again. Well, I just drop it off. So, uh, so let's look at the frequency here. Look at that. 180 Hertz. That's crazy. Okay. Um, and that's... Uh, that goes uh, on with this uh, heat gun. And let, I find another Another thing that will disturb this um, this uh, uh, inverter, and that's uh, hair dryer. Okay, so let's turn on the hair dryer and see what's going to happen. Look at that. It's the same thing, pretty much. You can probably hear the inverter humming and same thing is going to happen with the voltage the voltage will drop even with uh, very little load this is 600 watt load you get the voltage drop okay I'm not going to torture it too much but uh, that's, a, that's a little problem here. And uh, same thing's going to happen when you're going to run the refrigerator on this. And maybe some other stuff too. Uh, pretty much the motors uh, will do that. Um, but this is, this is the kick. Okay. I'm going to plug it in to this go power here. And nothing's going to happen. So hold on. Okay, so another strange thing here, okay, <clears throat> I just want to bring it up. When I log into the Victron Connect uh, software, uh, 
I don't know exactly which one is this one, but it will just give me it will just give me the uh, the stats from uh, from the unit itself, right? So that's really really strange. Uh, right here we have uh, the voltage of the unit, right, and uh, then voltage of the battery, and then current uh, coming in and power and frequency okay <coughs> so right now we are on 120 and here is 119 whatever 120 so that's pretty that's pretty good and the frequency 60 60 and yeah, it's about the same okay so this is what, what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna go back back to the voltage uh, let me zoom out a little bit yeah Maybe I can shed the light here. Oh, let me see. You're gonna get a better. Uh, if I turn this one on. No. Okay. Yeah, there you go. That's better. No reflection. So I'm gonna turn on that uh, stupid dryer again. And you can hear right away whatever it is and the voltage so so the voltage on this uh, software is the same but the voltage coming out is 113 okay let me just shut this off because this is going to shut off on me Damn it. come on now there you go now this is going to shut off on me this is a pain in the butt Okay, and I'm going to switch to the frequency here, and let's do it again. So, you see the frequency in the unit is measuring 59.9, but the frequency coming out is 183. I'm sorry, there you go, okay. So, somehow this is affecting the MOSFETs in the unit, and it's changing the frequency. Obviously, disturbing the sine disturber, disturbing the sine sine wave. Um, so that's uh, that's not good, and this is really annoying too. Um, so I, I don't know. Uh, just, uh, I just I just want to bring this to the attention, maybe of the uh, Victron people. Because it's not only these the hair dryer and this uh, heat gun, it's the refrigerators too, actually. So that's annoying, okay? Okay, so this is a 3000 watt uh, pure sine wave inverter. This is the older version, that's the low frequency uh, version. And I get uh, again. I got this little heating thing plugged in, and I'm gonna turn it on, and we can watch. Uh, zoom a little bit. Okay, we can watch the voltage, and there is no change on voltage. Now I'm gonna switch it to the hertz. Okay, let's see. Doesn't affect the hertz at all. Okay. And now I'm gonna. I don't have uh, enough room here to plug both of them in. So, and I got I got only two hands, unfortunately. So let me just switch this. Turn it on. Come on, Mr. Scope. Okay. Okay. What do we have? Okay, we have a nice sine wave here. Well, pick up the thing and okay. No changes. 
No sound coming out of the inverter either. So explain this to me. How is that possible? And I have uh, four Go Power inverters, okay? This little baby, 1000 watt. Then I have two 1500 watts and this 3000 watts. None of them will be distorted. And I have three of these and all of them will be distorted. So that's just uh, something that uh, Victron has to probably consider to fix maybe. Because the Go Power is still the number one inverter. Alright, next time.